Welcome to the April 2019 Star Wars News Roundup, where we cover all the major Star Wars movie, TV, canon, and gaming news of the past month. Star Wars Celebration was this past month, and I find it hard to believe that you didn't keep up with that all on your own, but just in case, here's the big stuff. The Mandalorian will debut on Disney Plus on November 12th, and it will not be released in a binge model, which I'm glad to hear. Jedi Fallen Order will release on November 15th, so that'll be a busy month. Episode 9 is officially titled The Rise of Skywalker, and there is a teaser out, and if you haven't seen it yet, I imagine you're watching this video by mistake. Or you're avoiding spoilers, in which case, I wish you luck. In some celebration news you may have missed, Alan Tudyk confirmed that he would be in the upcoming Cassian Andor series for Disney+. And at a publishing panel, Del Rey announced that there will be a Journey to the Rise of Skywalker line of stories, as well as the mysterious Project Illuminous. We don't know anything at all about that except the names of five authors involved. Claudia Gray, Charles Soule, Daniel Jose Older, Kavan Scott, and Justina Ireland, which is a solid lineup. Finally from Celebration is just the announcement that next year's event will be held in Anaheim. Outside of that, we did get a decent amount of movie talk for the future of Star Wars after The Rise of Skywalker. First, it was confirmed that there will be a bit of a hiatus in films after 9, although we don't know for how long. But Kathleen Kennedy mentioned in an interview that they are currently mapping out not only the next saga, but the next 10 years of Star Wars stories and what they might look like. Not only that, but Benioff and Weiss are said to be working very closely with Ryan Johnson to step into a different part of the timeline. So nothing super concrete, but it's good to hear that two separate series of movies are still communicating to tell a cohesive, overarching story. But now it's time to get into gaming news, so I'll throw things over to Elliot from Battlefront Updates. As for April's gaming news, we've got quite a lot headlined, of course, by Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, which had its official reveal at Star Wars Celebration in Chicago with a full trailer, as well as a panel with the developers. First of all, they confirmed that it is a single-player-only game with no microtransactions, and you will be following the Padawan Cal Kestis, who is played by Cameron Manigan, who some of you might recognize. Cal is hiding in plain sight in the hopes of keeping the Jedi Order alive until he has to, as the trailer shows you, Use his force powers to save a fellow worker and therefore reveal that he is a Jedi. The main villain is the second sister Inquisitor and you'll also be facing off against the purge troopers whose job was to hunt down the remaining Jedi. Gameplay wise, Respawn said that the game will have what they call thoughtful combat, where you have to think about every move you do, but the combat will both be easy to pick up and hard to master, catering to all kinds of players. Lastly, you will also have your faithful droid companion with you, BD1. And although no gameplay was shown and they focused fully on a cinematic story trailer, they have confirmed that gameplay will be arriving in June at EA Play. As for Battlefront 2, the game got a small update that added a new capital supremacy map on Kashyyyk, added a block to Yoda and Maul, and made a bunch of bug fixes and hero balancing. The design director on the game also came out and said that the play count is as high as it was 3 weeks after launch, which was 17 months ago, showing that the game has made quite a big recovery. As for Galaxy of Heroes, they announced that Padma and Medalla is coming to the game, and they also did a kit touch-up slash rework on Anakin, General Kenobi and Ahsoka. And lastly, they added a new event where you can challenge Darth Malak, which has not gone down too well with the community due to its pay-to-win-ish system. As for Star Wars The Old Republic, game update 5.10.2 is now live in the game, where they added Guild Heraldry, a feature to customize and show off on leaderboards, portraits and more. They also reworked the preview window to see what armor, weapons or mounts look like before purchasing them. And during Star Wars Celebration they also announced the newest expansion coming to Star Wars The Old Republic Onslaught, which arrives in September this year free to all subscribers. You will be able to explore a new flashpoint on the war-torn world of Corellia, as well as a new operation set in the jungles of Deek Sun. You'll also get to visit Onderon as well as Meksha, an independent fueling station built in the hollows of a mined-out asteroid. On top of that, there will be a reworked itemization, increased level cap, and new abilities coming to the game. In some other Star Wars Celebration news, Star Wars Pinball was announced to be coming to the Switch, which as far as I know is the first Star Wars game to be on that platform. Vader Immortal was also playable at Star Wars Celebration and the first impressions seemed to be quite good. They also released a trailer for this first episode of the VR series that you can see in the background now. From the people I spoke to who tried it out, they said it still feels quite a bit like a game since you are very active yourself and interacting with the environments, but it is officially called a VR series. 
That's all for the gaming news of April, now back to Alex. Thanks, Elliot. If you want to keep more up to date with Star Wars gaming news every day, subscribe to Battlefront Updates, who provides daily videos about all Star Wars games, not just Battlefront. But that's it for April. The Star Wars News Roundup will return June 1st to cover everything that goes on in the month of May. Until then, please like this video, subscribe to our channels, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.